first century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside Yeah, I am the 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time Come, come Come on everyone, let's celebrate We are the children of the sun I can see it when I look into your eyes We are the same, and we are light, and we are one Hear now, hear my ancient prayer and sing along We are awakening as one we can make a difference Yeah, we can be the change it takes To make the world a lot more fun Well, if you're feeling kinda down And you need some inspiration To remember who you are Oh, now, child, please don't frown You can choose a new vibration And these words can take you far First century superhuman and I know that the answers are inside. Hi there, I'm Carrie Ellis, author of the 21st Century Superhuman book series, and these are our 21st century superhuman shows. Today I have with me the illustrious Rob Potter and Raymond Keller. Hi. <laughs> He's more illustrious than me. Is he more illustrious than you? Yeah, I I, I have to concede that. So well, we we, we're all illustrious, Rob. We're all reflections of the of the true light. I love that. That's a great response. And that's kind of why we're here today, really, is to talk about the true light in all of us and how we're to really access that at this point in time and access the greater aspects of who we are. Rob, I know that you have events in Mount Shasta. My event is called uh, the Mount Shasta uh, Summer Conference. Thank you for having us on here, and we'll share a couple upcoming events here. Raymond Keller, of course, uh, we've talked about him before. He's has a tremendous uh, volume. Uh, he's written so many books. He has so much knowledge on Venus, having lived there for two and a half months. They call him the Venusian historian, and um, I'm kind of the rah-rah promoter for him. <laughs> you know, I've uh, encouraged him to share some of his deeper, more metaphysical experiences. Maybe he'll do that in his biography, but he has so much hidden knowledge in his books here. I thought I would just share these uh, amazing books with you. Raymond Keller, Raymond Keller uh, he is working on his nine books. We have eight published books here. Uh, Venus Rising, Rockets to Venus, Cosmic Race, Excellent Adventure, about his Time Travel, that's Venus, Lady Columba. Of course, uh, Flying Saucers, Venus Legacy. Here they are, and they're all coming up here, folks. Look at that, five, six, uh, and then you come down here. Um, we have the entire series available, and we can't forget the Gospel of Thomas. So I wanted to share with you my homepage here on the promisedrevealed.net. And if we go to truth references right here, we're in Raymond Keller. I introduced him to <clears throat> Omnic Omnic's uh, main girl there. I put a lot of the questions that I'm allowed to answer to the Venusians up here lately. This is a space department defense ship from a guy. <clears throat> but we come down here and there's me and Kaz. But I'm going to join him in Salzburg. But this is a much larger tour going on here. So get to my Truth References blog on the promisedrevealed.net. If you're in Europe, you want to join uh, Raymond Keller on a, at least one of the four city tours here. Um, and all the information you can check out here. I'm going to be joining him in Salzburg in Austria. But check it out right there. You can go here, see all the information. So yeah. May 27th, 28th is in Regen. That's in Germany. And then you have uh, Salzburg, June 3rd and 4th and 5th, actually, I'll be speaking. And then uh, Dresden. And then uh, he's going to be in Switzerland, June 19th. And Raymond and I will be the only English speaking ones. But in Dresden, Switzerland and Salzburg and everywhere, actually, they're going to have English translators uh, with Raymond. Nice. And, uh, uh, so it's going to be a wonderful experience for Raymond to share his, his knowledge in, in Germany. Yes. Um, and Raymond, you have written nine books on interactions with beings from Venus, correct? 
Yes, that's right. Uh, Raymond, you could just hold your books up quick, but oh, sure, sure. I know they're they're just really beautiful, and I think you've done a great job of publishing them. It's amazing, a whole series, all on interactions with Venus. And you know, some people might ask, well, how does this happen? You know, how how is it possible that you are communicating with somebody from Venus? Well, we've known for a long time here on Earth that all the planets of our solar system are inhabited. They either have indigenous life or life that that came here from uh, from other solar systems. And uh, even Helena Blavatsky said that the whole of the universe uh, was filled with intelligences. Interesting. Both seen and unseen. So that this is at multi-dimensional levels. And um, uh, it's not surprising that uh, that Venusians and other extraterrestrials should live and and uh, work among us. And this has been the um, the message uh, brought by many of the contactees, prophets, seers, revelators, and so forth throughout uh, um, the history of uh, of humankind. Nice. And you were just recently at the MUFON conference, which um, is a UFO conference, right? Yes, and that, that's right. It was this past weekend, and uh, I was a pinch uh, a pinch hitter as a speaker. Uh, all the speakers showed up, uh, but uh, Bill Burns was there from the uh, former UFO magazine, and uh, um. Uh, Fred Saluga was giving a talk. He's the director of the Pennsylvania MUFON and, um, uh, and many others. And uh, even though I wasn't um, uh, speaking, I think I sold probably sold more books than anybody there. Um, wow. Yeah, it was really uh, it would uh, it was really something. And anyway, they gave me a free table and I'll have a, another one at the um, uh, MUFON meeting at the Sheraton in Philadelphia on uh, May the 14th. So I'll be there in case anybody wants to. I hope, hopefully they're going to put you in the cleanup instead of a pinch hitter. At my, at my events, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Raymond <laughs> will speak three or four times. And, um, you know, he has such a vast knowledge. And um, we're going to lead him off with a question and answer, I think, on the first day. Um, he has such vast metaphysical knowledge. Yeah. Uh, so this is a question and answer of the Venusians. And um, on my ride home, uh, I'm very much more in the political aspect and how they're helping us. And I feel that this is the key for people to wake up to really help us. And not so much as the technology and getting on the ground and what they're doing behind the scenes. But in one of my messages here, this is in my Truth References blog under Valiant, a message that the, the Queen of Venus from the head of the Galactic Confederation of Light, she's the head of the, not only of Venus, but the Solar System Tribunal Council and the Galactic Confederation of Light of 601 worlds and 51 systems. So we're in August company with Dr. Keller, who is a friend of theirs. And I asked him, I said, Raymond, why don't he says his role is um, he wants, he's written these incredible books and within them are hidden so much metaphysical knowledge that being a, you know, a 47 year physical contactee like Raymond and I are, with the vast knowledge that I have and experience, Raymond is is absolutely a a, a thing a, a diamond in the rough. So the Queen's here. When I asked about the political situation, it says here, and then she's talking to me about me in the, this opening statement. It says, uh, some of those on your planet in the New Age circles have expressed disappointments that we of Abahar, which means planet of the bees, where they come from, have not been as political as they would like us to be. As our commander or reigns in the introduction that I had with her, she says, the fate of your worlds is in your hands. The political systems you create to manage your progress or lack thereof on the earth should be of your own making. This is in keeping with your sovereignty due to ascension species. And I'm going to follow this up. And I think Raymond uh, can add to this, or if you want to go somewhere else with it, Carrie, but based on the queen's message there, you know, understanding all this knowledge and putting it into practice, into action with uh, other people is an important, important thing, but thing, and, and really the, the great reset in the emotional 
and the understanding of humans. And I think that there are frequencies hitting the planet. And um, I'm told on August 24th, there will be some major shift for humanity that's going to start awakening a lot of people on an energetic psychic level as a, uh, you know, a, a knowledge level that we just have to, to treat each other as brothers and sisters and move on. Do you have any comments or anything you guys would like to say on that? So I think we're just waking up to being the sentient species that we are. We're waking up to another level of our own consciousness, right? Wouldn't you say, guys? Uh I think oh. that I think if just like a, I think if you what she said in the very last message to me, she said, you know, Rob, if we were to act as you guys wanted, um, it, it's like the the pilgrims landed. The Wapanong Indians were decimated within 20 years. They lost their cultural identity with the uh, founding fathers and the pilgrims. So they choose to remain hidden behind the scenes and influence us secretly, so that we can uh, uh, look to them as a as a, a possibility but we have to achieve the the level go ahead cause uh, uh, yes Pr previously commander reigns um lived with a uh secret identity a cover on earth as a as a science fiction uh writer named evelyn smith and she wrote a book about what would happen if the venusians or another um extraterrestrial species would come down to earth and impose a benevolent dictatorship uh, on us to, to run things for our own uh, benefit. And um, it ultimately showed that the human species would be very unhappy and would, uh, would rebel and, um, uh, and resent, uh, resent the control despite the fact that it was benevolent. And uh, so we have to do it on our own. This is uh, the, the message. And we have the capability. We have powers latent within us that we haven't even imagined, let alone touched. And um, uh, so this is what's necessary to make all of this uh, 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 happen. Uh, they're there to help us. And uh, on an individual uh, level, we can redeem the world one soul at a time. Mm, I love that. Really beautiful. And so Raymond, what do you feel like you've been told by the Venusians can help us move forward here as where we are in human civilization? Well, we, we have to stop uh, just reacting on the spur uh, of the moment. We have to take the time to calm ourselves, evaluate situations, if at all possible to consult with one another and work with one another for, for viable solutions, not just jump right into things and react. Raymond looks fantastic. He looks to me like he's regenerating. I mean, <laughs> what do you think, Raymond? And what is it? Because we know the Venusians live, how many years do they live? Like hundreds or thousands? Oh, it, it could go into the thousands. Into the thousands. and. Do you think by being around them, something has been activated inside of you? I, I think so. Um, Look how good Raymond looks, Rob. <laughs> He's got a, uh, an anti-aging filter on there. Don't let him fool you. I don't know about that. He looks really good. No, Ra Raymond has a, a, a baby-like countenance. Um, in his uh, fifth book, Lady Columba, Venus Revelations, this woman at 93 had told people she wouldn't die. And in this book that could not be published that when she met Raymond on Venus and then later in 2018, she actually handed him a book that she wrote in 61. And he's gonna pull up an image here of their rejuvenation technique, which is a form of ascension called translation. So wow. we see this is what happened to another person on earth, a woman, and you see a master there. Uh, right. An energy above her that represents her memory and consciousness. They basically cloned a brand new body and then they reinstall your soul into a new body. So this Amazing. is a form of ascension called translation. This is all her original artwork all throughout this book. Uh, uh, many of it never published before this, like this is, this is the council on- um, Hold that there, cause. This is the space Leviathan. Beautiful. Uh, 
ascending from the from the moon and an interplanetary council, intergalactic council. So you see Commander Reigns there, Aura Reigns. Uh, you see Vorton, who's leading the, uh, the, the, the delegation and the, uh, and the, dis the discussion. You see Ganesha elephantine beings here, other hybrids like uh, humans and bees uh, and, and so forth. So th this is all from the 1950s, late 1950s, early 1960s. And uh, uh, oh, there's also a blue avian in there too. Yeah. And th this is all before any of this stuff that's been coming out. And then my latest book, which I'm very excited about, um, yeah, flying saucers from Venus, they come. There are the revelations in here are all about the, the true origins of the, the secret space program, the true origins. And they're mm. all documented. All the leaders uh, and researchers of uh, uh, anti-gravity propulsion financed by the government. Everything is documented and footnoted with, with, uh, with photographs and, uh, and so forth. Um, even the pilots who flew them, and and then uh, the the close uh, uh, work that was done with uh, George Adamski's associate Carol Honey, and um, who is the secretary and the editor of all his books. He actually worked for aerospace um, corporations. Wow! And, and uh, you know, ad admitted that he had been there when. Uh, Adamski contacted Venusians. Then you see the different, uh, you know, the, the, the test pilots like Chuck Yeager and so forth, heads of corporation and military personnel discussing these joint these joint projects. So this is the this is the real thing. It's not fiction. That is really cool. I think you are just a wealth of knowledge, Raymond. We want to let people know the excitement that you're, you guys are both going to be traveling. Rob, I know you're going to go to Scotland, right? I'm going to Scotland. They have private roads there. <laughs> private roads. So I'm going to Scotland for a couple of days, and then I'm going to Providence. I believe the Venusians helped me orchestrate that. The client, uh, I have a client that I, I sell these very large pyramid products behind me and stuff like that the, the yes days is ridiculous so he's financing my trip uh it's cheaper to uh pay me the money and i give him a personal installation of the products nice. through the technology and i'm uh very honored to to join raymond keller i'm so excited i love austria i have to say vienna was my one of my favorites switzerland was really great but i can't afford it <laughs> switzerland is crazy <laughs> expensive but it's it's uh, like a sound of music wonderland there and the people over there in germany are very excited um uh, i'm sure there's a tremendous wealth of knowledge in america as we've got you know we've got a million ufo experts uh right second. so i've offered a lot of questions to some ufo experts let's see if they take me up on the offer to actually ask a question directly uh to the venusians um i'm going to be publishing that at some point uh raymond's going to um get that to the venusians and uh we'll see what kind of answers we get i also always uh am able to ask some questions before the conference for people to realize they're actually look just like us most of them um, and they have um, a great compassion for us and they really understand our situation and they're helping as much as they can behind the scenes. You know, when you think about uh, what is that change we have to make, we talked about it yesterday, Carrie, uh, is really, it's a, it's a reset of, of the, our thinking of how our political socioeconomic systems are actually functioning because we have allowed and again, this goes to a Wizard of Oz scenario be, uh, of some negative forces. The Venusians would root them out. Um, last time they tried that was at the end of Atlantis, and they were evacuating their representatives, the people of the frequency, and they were coming back to uh, engage in a more uh, profound way than we actually see today. And the bad guys, if they can't have it, they want it destroyed. 
So mm-hmm. they blew up the planet and Mojave Desert and uh, the Gobi Desert are results of nuclear explosions of a slash and burn technology. So Interesting. at this point in time, the negative forces are entrenched amongst us, living amongst us. And um, as hybrids or in the technology of projection. And we have, it, it is our, our fault in a sense, they can say, we could say that we are responsible because they have tempted us with materialistic right. systems. That's that right. We, we're wanting yeah. to spend every second for material gain and you know, all this. We can have flying saucers and keep it as beautiful as, as a beach on Hawaii, pristine. Yep. It, it could be a paradise like on Venus. And so that's, I just hold that as the goal for us to get there. Yes. But we have so much um, apperception problems and so. Well, it's it's time for there to be change within us in order to change what's going on in this realm. And would you say, Raymond, that the Venusians are um, kind of a higher frequency being than we are or more multidimensional? Oh, oh, yes. And uh, well, we also are as as sentient beings are multidimensional. Okay. And, uh, but, you, you know, when, just look, take a look at the earth and all the varied types of, 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 uh, of, of cryptids and paranormal phenomena that takes place, uh, you know, uh, inklings of other dimensions, uh, ghostly apparitions and things. Right. These are keys. These are keys that there are, that there are, are portals and, and tiers and multidimensional layers here on the earth as well as all the other other planets and this is something that uh, that I look into quite a bit in my in my sixth book where I look at um, the research of borderland sciences and uh, uh, Lane uh, Mead Lane and uh, uh, Michael X Barton and different people uh, investigating this type of um, uh, this type of thing. Nice. So, we shouldn't underestimate ourselves. We we have these same powers as the Venusians and uh, some other extraterrestrials. They're 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 locked up inside us. They're latent inside us. But we we haven't utilized the key, the gnosis that's given to us in all the world's of uh, scriptures and sacred writings to access this information, to go within and to unlock these uh, unlock these powers. And the sooner that we do that, more and more people will become translated. Yes. Like Beautiful. And, and, and others that have come be, or Enoch, you know, that have, that have come before. So this is the, this is the, the, the key to it. We don't yes. have for a mass ascension. It could happen with, with each and every one of us individually. Beautiful and well said. And, um, There's so much knowledge that you have. I want to encourage people to reach out and find your books. And we'll put that link under this video. And Rob, it's at your website, right? The Promise Revealed. And of course, at my conference, you can meet him. And uh, if, uh, you know, he he has a lot of smaller venues on the East Coast. He travels around quite a bit, sometimes uh, a long way for, uh, (laughs) but he's reaching the right people. And um, it's really great to talk with you both and good to see your smiling, beautiful faces. And we know that we are here to change the world. I want to remind everyone to breathe, smile and love. And if they have the chance to get out and see you both in um, Germany and Austria and those wonderful places you're going um, to be at Rob's conference in July in out in Mount Shasta, um there's really great places to gather together to learn more about the venusians the ufos and our higher dimensional selves that we're accessing at this point in time thank Thank you you sister very much appreciated okay sending you both much love and we will see you soon and keep shining you both have such beautiful radiant faces and i know that you're bright lights in this world (laughs) thank you very much okay Bye-bye. And if you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are, whoa, now, child, please.
don't frown You can choose a new vibration And these words can take you far I am a 21st century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside I am a 21st century superhuman Now, now, 